Hey guys, so I was watching some videos from some of my favorite curly hair YouTubers, I came across this tag. It's called the Curly Hair Problems Tag, and I'm pretty sure it was made by Silkworm720, um, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I saw it on WaterLily716's channel, um, and I just thought it was a really fun tag, so I kind of just wanted to do it, because people, if you don't have curly hair, you just don't understand. So this might be fun to tell you what it's like to have curly hair. I just have the questions down here on my laptop, so if you see me looking down, I'm looking at the questions. Number one, how often do you wash your hair? Now by wash, I'm assuming you mean shampooing and conditioning. I do that every second or maybe every third day, depending on my routine that morning. But I do try to wet it every single day because that's how it's easiest for me to style my hair when it's wet. If I brush this mess when it's dry, it is not cute at all. It just really doesn't work and it's easier to break um, my hair that way. So I try to do it when it's wet only. Number two, do you usually shower at night or in the morning? Usually I shower in the morning just because then my hair is wet so I can style it for the day and then it will air dry throughout the day um, so that's pretty much just the easiest way of me maintaining my hair. Number three is how many products do you use on a day-to-day -day basis? I do change it up a little bit every once in a while so at the moment I have two different shampoos and two different conditioners on the go so I'll use one of those or the other set depending on when I'm washing my hair or what I feel like that day. I also have a couple styling products. So if I'm wearing my hair down, I'll probably use a um, leave-in conditioner. My favorite is Pantene. If you've watched any of my curly hair videos, you'll know how much I love that product. And I use that every time I wear my hair down. If I'm wearing it up though, I'll use slightly different products. So at the moment, I think I'm using another Pantene product. It's a split end treatment, so I'll put that in if I'm wearing my hair up because it doesn't relax my curls very well, but I, it does does have benefits, so I do like to use it. So I'll use that if my hair is going up. I'll also use um, another type. I can't actually remember what it is, but I might use another product if I'm wearing my hair up. So it kind of just depends what day it is, whether I'm washing my hair or not, and how I want to style it for the day, depending on what products I use. How long does it take to do your hair in the morning? Okay, I'm going to count washing and, and stuff like that because that does take a while because I get into the shower and I have to brush it through to get it wet and then you shampoo it and then you wash it out and then I put conditioner in and then I brush the conditioner through so that it gets evenly throughout my hair and then I wait for however long I wait and then I wash it out. So that by itself will probably be... 15-20 minutes maybe, that's kind of a long time, and then after that I just towel dry it, let it air dry for a little bit, um, put in whatever styling product I'm using, and then style it for the day, and that might take 5-10 to 10 minutes, so we're looking at like 20-30 to 30 minutes, depending on if I wash it or style it differently. If you want to see my hair care video, I do have one. I'll link it down below and I'll just run through my entire routine. If you're interested, I'll link it below. Okay, number five is how many pins would it take to put your hair in an updo? Um, I'm assuming you mean if you're solely using pins, which I never do because my hair is really big and very, very heavy. It's not thin hair. It's very dense and thick. So I generally style my hair with um, scrunchies or uh, hair bands or hair ties or things like that because pins just will not do the job by themselves. Though, recently I did have my hair done where they put it up in a beehive after they just straightened it um, and they did that solely with pins and I kept all of the pins because I had to take them out later and I put them in this so I'll count how many are in here and I'll let you know I did lose some throughout the night and maybe some are still in my hair but I, I'll count and I'll tell you okay so that was about 60 hair pins and they include these U pins and your average bobby pin as well so 
about 60. Number six is how long does it take to straighten your hair and how often do you do it? Straightening my hair will generally take somewhere between two and three hours depending on what type of um, straightener we're using and if anyone's put any products in my hair. I generally don't straighten it myself because I don't have very many straightening products. Um, I also don't really do it very often. I don't think I've straightened my hair for maybe two years. Um, I don't think I look good with straight hair. I was born with really curly hair. I like my hair. I like the way it is. I don't really want to have normal straight hair. Um, so I don't generally straighten it. Sometimes, most of the time I just do it because people are really curious and they want to either straighten my hair themselves or they want me to straighten it so they can see it. But I don't like doing it. Plus, it's, the heat is really damaging for curly hair and it's just not feasible. Plus, if I do straighten it, depending on how humid that day is, it'll last somewhere between half an hour and an hour um, before it starts curling and frizzing and so I don't really think it's worth it. Number seven is what celebrities do you get compared to because of your hair? I don't think I get compared to very many people um, because of my hair. I have been compared to Bernadette Peters, um, which is funny because she has uh, 3B curls, or yeah, she did, and I have 3B curls, so whoever made that comparison was pretty accurate. But I also get compared to um, Merida from Brave quite a bit because my hair's got a bit of a red sheen and it's a little bit wild and crazy like that Scottish girl. Number eight is do you ever get things stuck in your curls? Yes. I would say two to three times daily. I'll get a zipper stuck in my hair, I'll like get it stuck in tree branch, leaves will fall into it, someone will jam their pencil in and be like, oh will it stay? Um, less so now than when I was in elementary school and stuff like that because kids were just curious. I remember once someone dumped a um, tray of little hole punch holes in my hair and they were in there for a little while. That wasn't very nice but now it's generally accidents when things get stuck in my hair. Number nine is what is your worst haircut experience or if you don't have one what's your best? My worst haircut experience I think I was probably 12 or 13 and I went to a hairdresser who swore black and blue that she knew how to cut curly hair. She didn't. And she gave me horrendous layers. I know layers are pretty good for some hair. They're not fantastic for mine because it is so thick. Um, I lived with those curls for a number of months. Almost a year probably. My hair grows very slowly. And it was just horrible. It was horrible. I, I don't trust hairdressers. If you say you can cut curly hair, I don't believe you until you see my hair. I'm sorry, I'm just, I don't trust people very much with my hair because it, a lot can go wrong and then I'm the one that has to live with it. Number 10 is what kind of things have people said to you about your hair? Generally, they're very good comments. Sometimes they can be quite ignorant, but I think that's just because you don't know what curly hair is like until you have curly hair or if you have curly hair. Um, a lot of strangers compliment me in the street, which sometimes is very nice, sometimes is a little bit strange, especially when people think that because I have very big hair, uh, they have a right to touch it, even though I don't know them. I kind of compare it to when you're pregnant, people will walk up to you and start touching your stomach, whether they know you or not, because they want to be nice or kind or something like that, make some sort of compliment. I find that very strange. It's generally like older ladies in the shopping line or something will come up and say, Ma, you have marvelous hair. That's gorgeous. Don't you love it? Do you ever wish you had straight hair? Lots of questions, lots of things like that, and a little bit of petting generally. But if I'm around people my own age, um, yeah, it's more like, well, can you get stuff stuck in it? Or, oh, is it really hot under there? People have also asked to use my hair as a pillow before, and they have done it. I think it's just idle curiosity, because 
I do have hair that's quite different from most people. So in general, it's usually jokes, and if it's not jokes, then it's weird questions, and if it's not weird questions, then it's just a bunch of compliments. So it's okay, it's just curiosity, but it kind of comes with the territory, I guess. And the last one, number 11, is what do you think people should know about your curls? Just in general, I'd like people to know that I do have hair that is completely different from any other hair type. You cannot treat curls like wavy hair. You cannot treat curls like straight hair. It just won't work. My hair follicles are different. The way my hair reacts to products is different. And just in general, how my hair is in weather and environments and things like that is different. So I, I dislike the comparison between my hair and other hair types because they are just completely different. That being said, I love my curly hair. I adore it. I would be I wouldn't be the same person if I didn't have my curly hair. It kind of makes you, it becomes a part of you, and I know that sounds a little bit weird, a little bit shallow, but it's such an identifying factor about my personality and about who I am as a person that I can't really imagine not having my hair. So while the attention can get a little bit annoying sometimes and being singled out can be a little bit um, unsettling, I do love the hair I have and I wouldn't change it for anything. And I hope everyone feels that way about the hair that they have because all of it's quite unique and it's like, it's your hair, you gotta love it. So there you go, that's the curly hair problems tag. I hope you enjoyed watching it and had in some way, some way of relating to it, that would be great. If you have really curly hair or just wavy hair, I don't know, it's kind of curly, please do this tag. You can um, video response it to my video or to Water Lily's video or to Silkworm's video. It'll get watched wherever you put it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.